At 4 o'clock last Wednesday afternoon, Bridget Kuhar and her dog Otis set out for a walk near Bartlett Regional Hospital. Kuhar is a yoga teacher and musician. Her husband and bandmate George was playing music that afternoon at Wildflower Court Nursing Home. Kuhar had just brought him his guitar. The dog hadn't really been for a walk that day, and I was going to walk from Wildflower Court down to Twin Lakes and back and go home. It was a clear, cold day, and the sun was beginning to set. Otis is an 11-year-old black mutt. He was on a leash and walking with Kuhar on the sidewalk near the intersection of Salmon Creek Lane and Hospital Drive. Kuhar says she noticed three dogs across the street behind some sort of gate or fence. The next thing she knew, they were running toward her. It happened very fast. You know, I, I just was, like, trying to figure out what to do if they did come over because I knew they were going to attack my dog. I, I mean, they had that, they just had that posture about them. Kuhar says her first instinct was to turn away. She and Otis stepped off of the sidewalk, but the other dogs were already on top of them. I started screaming, and, and I, I wanted to stay on my feet. You know, I tried to stay on my feet to use my legs to kick and, and punch the dogs. To, uh, two of them went for his head, and one went for his back. She says they all ended up in a ditch on the side of the road, rolling around in the snow. All three of the other dogs were pit bulls. Their owner was the first to arrive to help, but there was little either of them could do. Kuhar says she tried to protect Otis as best she could. I was fighting two dogs on his head. Um, I was losing, for sure. There wasn't really any fighting I was doing. I just was, it was like hitting cinder blocks. By this point, a few people in cars were stopping to try and help. One of them was Dr. Lindy Jones, a physician at nearby Valley Medical Center. Initially was very overwhelmed at the uh, viciousness of this whole scene, particularly how these dogs were just trying to rip the dog apart. Eventually, Jones was able to help Kuhar get the two dogs off of Otis's head. The owner of the pit bulls was able to get the third dog to release as well, and Kuhar, Jones, and Otis all ran to Jones's car. I took her up to my clinic. She was bleeding from her hand. The dog was bleeding from multiple puncture wounds. Yeah, it was definite carnage. Kuhar went to the emergency room at Bartlett, where she was treated for bite wounds to her right hand and forearm. Otis spent the night at the vet's, but was able to come home the next day. He's really chewed up, but there's no major damage to his internal organs. He had a pretty serious wound on his front leg. You could have some bone exposed, and there was some tearing of his shoulder. I think they got a little bite and a tear on the shoulder, so he has like a drain in his shoulder to keep the fluid from building up. Juno Animal Control cited the owners of the three pit bulls for the incident, but declined to identify them. Kuhar says she doesn't know who the owners are, but says they agreed to pay her medical bills and Otis's vet bill. She says she's thankful to the owner who helped pull one of the dogs off Otis, and to Jones for his heroics. Certainly without Lindy interfering, my dog would be dead. I might be dead too. Kuhar says she doesn't want to get involved in the debate over whether pit bulls are dangerous. Jones says he hadn't thought much about the issue before the event. Now, he says it certainly has shaped his opinion. A responsible pet owner should consider whether or not it's appropriate to have three potentially vicious dogs by themselves because I think the ability of one individual to control three vicious dogs of this is, is nearly impossible as we've experienced here. I mean, the guy who owned them could not even control one of them. Gastineau Humane Society Executive Director Hava Lee says the pit bull's owners will have to meet certain requirements for public safety. That includes signs on their property warning of the dog's dangerous status, special collars, leashes, and muzzles, as well as possibly having to get the animals fixed. Animal Control is also investigating a separate dog-on-dog -dog attack on Thanksgiving, which resulted in the death of the dog that was attacked. In Juneau, I'm Casey Kelly.